Hey guys, how are you all? This is Mr. Chandra. I came back again with our new topic about the on shape. It's not about the design. It's about the on shape and its tools. Many of you don't know what is about the tools, right? So today I'm going to teach you about the features. Let's get the document first, and I will teach you detailly and. So guys, many of them are new about the onshape, right? And many of them are asking about me how I made this design. It's simple, guys. I'm not really designing them. There is a secret. It's not secret. There is a feature in this onshape, which is called. Uh, we can add the tools, custom tools to the toolbar in the onshape. Today I will show you about this clearly, and. Learn about them, guys. Just observe it clearly. Okay. Um, let's open the toolbar, guys. As you can see, the extrude. This is the toolbar in the arm shape, and you can see my toolbar is uh, having some new features. I mean, if you observe it before, you can see the belt, belt gear. Spark a triangle and remeter. You saw by using them, these tools only I can make the design simply, guys. Let's claim, let's see how to get these features. Let's tap on the add on custom feature. Can I add, uh, add them on? Add them on them only. Let's see the future script samples. Tap on it. Loading as you can see, guys, there are many features are available. You can go search for search for them. You can get them. What feature if you want? Uh, there are reports. Uh, Should you handle angles, spirals, per case, script lighting, script belt, script spring? There are many features are available in this guys. And and you can see the even you can. Search what documents you want. Let's have a search bar today. I'm searching about gears. Let's see what is showing. Okay, look at it, guys. There are so many features are available, but not this point. You can see the names are uh, lightly shaded. That means it can't be imported. These are the designed parts, guys. So you can't import them. Only future scripts. You can add to the custom feature to the toolbar of the on shape. So these are not able to import. I'm just telling you about the caution. For today now, I'm showing you about how to add the script feature about the spark about the gears. So I'll tap on spark gears with scripts and take the official latest version and tap on official V9 version tips. Loading and you can see the spark script tap on it see there's confirmation added to the toolbar so tap on the tick bar yes it's now it's added to the toolbar guys let's say the last one spark care feature is added to our toolbar so now i will show you how to use this toolbar observe it clearly Okay, first of all, tap on the feature, and you can see there's a floating bar, floating table is appeared. So you say opposite direction, symmetries, number of teeth means how many teeth you want for the gear, and gear size button. By taking more two diameter space, circle space, depend on them, you can draw the gears, pressure angle, and root fillet. Backlash, redundant, redundant. These all are custom features, guys. You have to give values on what way you want, and you can see you can also get helical gears, and you can also change the angle clockwise or anti-clockwise. It's up to your wish. Now, in which direction you want to spin the helical gear, right? And double helix. 
camper center bore center bore means gas it means giving the hole to the gear in the center okay let's show you and see we need entity uh, by default it takes the origin as the entity so you don't need to sell separately so look at them it is showing directly gear so let's switch off that as yeah you seen the spark gear is appeared with the perfect way it says it's very simple to use in script you can draw the figures uh, parts and yes as I said center board it gives the whole to the diameters and these are the default values you can change them later and let's check on the helical okay tab one I'm talking about helical let's see it's changing to the angle of the teeth yes it's changing the angle let's show you about how it's changing the angle let's change the angle 15 to 25 degrees yes you can see yeah see it's changed it changes the angle of the teeth let's see step about the concrete back direction mm, yeah it changes the direction of the angle so mm, let's now about the double helix you know about double helix gear i think many of you know yeah this is called double helix gear guys this type of gas is mostly absorbed in heavy machineries yeah in heavy machines and gear boxes and you can actually change the direction of them also yeah look at this guys we got it how to design the gear let's check about keyway yeah for the case the key is must and should without key it can't engage with the shaft okay this is the main important point about the caves guys uh, so tip radius it's all about new features i didn't know about them now only i'm seeing about this so i'm giving you values let's turn to point one Ooh, yes i see oh it changes the tip as i know understood tip angle means the edge of the gear guys you can see the small edge you already appeared like this yeah <clears throat> so finally guys this is the uh, how to design a gear about uh, in on shape using the feature grips you don't need to separate design you can change the values as ever you want and i hope you like my today's video mm using scripts you can get many just go and search for them what feature if you want and you can get the reason what you want it's simply without trying so today's this is today's topic guys if you like my content do like share and subscribe my channel guys i'm trying my best to get future so thank you see you bye bye